Okay, that was the dictation. What I'd like to show you now is a readback. So if I hit F8, it will go up one every time I hit F8. If I hit F9, it will go down one marker. If I hit F5, and were they taken under your recommendation? Yes. We it will did play. An F6 will pause. So F6 has paused. Notice that I'm still recording. I can hit F7 to switch from one channel to another. In this instance, I'm only recording one room channel, so I can't really switch back and forth. But I'll also show you another option that's called Open for Readback and that's this icon here and the way it works is that you click on this option and you come to the main menu you select another day or job per se and I am going to select this one and I'll just click on open that will bring me to that document in scope and I can click on any part of that document anywhere at all and here I'm playing from this one this just so happens to be the same dictation I hit F6, I'll pause it, and then when I'm done doing my read back from here, I can also use Control F if I need to find something very specific for the read back. I can just search for it with Control F. When I'm done doing my read back, I can close this job. It'll bring me back to the main menu. If I want to see a different job for a readback, I can select it and do another uh, readback, go into that job, or I can just close it by clicking on the X in the upper right hand corner, and that returns me to the document that I'm currently in. And notice that the recording is still going on, it has never stopped. And so that's readbacks and open for readback, which is a very handy feature. Hope you enjoyed this video.